Hello again, I'm Carl Baldessar, and today it's time to look at some more Jimmy Page riffs. I did an episode on seven often overlooked riffs a few weeks ago, and people really loved it, so I thought, I'll dig out seven more riffs for you and play them. And what I'm doing here is picking out riffs that are kind of inside the song. They're not the primary riff of the song. So I think they're really cool to kind of shed some light on these maybe overlooked riffs of Led Zeppelin and Jimmy Page. Here we go. All right, so for my first riff, we're going to go back to Led Zeppelin 3 and we're going to take a look at the track Out on the Tiles. It's a great opening riff, but the verse riff is really cool. It's a knuckle buster to play, and I'm going to play it for you right here. Out on the Tiles, verse riff. Here we go. <laughs> Such a killer riff, man. And if you're playing it, don't forget to play the major triad of the F sharp. Otherwise, man, it's a real knuckle buster. But once you get it, it feels great to play that riff. Okay, for my second riff, this is going to surprise you. We're going to look at Stairway to Heaven. And you're probably thinking, what on earth is overlooked about Stairway to Heaven? Well, I'm not going to say it's totally overlooked, but it's a little part of the final outro verse. And this figure in this riff is so cool. And I don't think really people talk about it a lot. But after we have the, um, uh, the guitar solo, he comes in with the power chords, and then he does this. It's just so cool how he does that little rising figure on that. I love the little chicky chunks that he puts into the riff while he's playing it to kind of keep that locomotion going, like chicky chunk, chicky chunk, chicky chunk, chicky chunk. <laughs> Anyways, it's so cool, so fun to play, and I thought I'd throw in something from Stairway to Heaven because it's not obvious that there's something overlooked in there. All right, for my third riff, I'm going to play probably the most bizarre opening riff to a blues rock song ever in the history of blues rock. This one comes from the album Presence, and it's the intro to the song T for One. It's really cool. It's really bouncy. has nothing to do with blues, but man, it, he makes it work. But I'm just going to play the intro for you. Here we go. <laughs> So cool. For riff number four, we're going to go to Physical Graffiti and the song The Wanton Song. That is one of my favorite songs of all time in the Led Zeppelin catalog. It's probably the most sophisticated song they ever wrote. The chording is phenomenal in this song. And we're going to go to the middle, the instrumental choruses, and the part I'm going to play follows these beautiful little jazz chords. <laughs> play the riff right after that. Here we go. The Watson song. So cool. Riff number five, I'm going to go to my silver tone, which is my Dan Electro sounding guitar. We're going to go to Physical Graffiti, and we're going to look at In My Time of Dying. And in the middle bridge part, he has this great riff, and I love this riff. Loved it from the very beginning. And I'm going to play it for you right now. <laughs> Thank you. 
in my time of dying. Okay, for riff number six, we're going to go to the album Coda, which is often overlooked as an entire album, and it's a great final statement in their catalog. And this riff is this barn-burning thing called Wearing and Tearing. I'm going to play it for you right now. It's really cool. <laughs> Last but not least, riff number seven, and I'm going deep cut live again. And this one, I'm actually going to play it and see if you can figure out what it is. I'll tell you in a little bit, but here it goes. I'll give you a little hint. It was actually from Actually, I'll play you the original riff that it was on the record. So when Zeppelin got together for the 40th anniversary of Atlantic Records, they were the featured band on this concert. And in uh, May 14th, 1988, they got on stage. It really wasn't one of the most memorable performances they had. There were some kind of rough moments. But when I was, I was watching it live, and when I heard him do the introduction to Whole Lot of Love and do it with that sort of riff kind of turned around on itself like that, I thought, that is like the coolest thing I ever heard. So I went deep cut for you on that one. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Carl Baldessar. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, share, and leave me a comment on what you thought about this. Are there any other episodes you want me to do? Any other riffs you want me to cover? We'll see you again.